Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. This is actually my third heater. This is a uh, Mr. Heater Contractor Series. Um, what's it say? Uh, Thirty-five thousand BTU an hour uh, heater. It's a radiant heater. It doesn't have a fan. It doesn't have any blower of any sort. Um, it's very similar to their Big Buddy heaters, um, which are really really nice and I've had that one and I actually took it back and exchanged it for this one almost at the same price. I think this one was ten dollars more. Um, I think the regular price is very close as well. So uh, they didn't have any of these when I bought the other one and uh, this looks like it's going to be way better for me. Now it says it heats up to 875 square feet. Um, I can't remember what the other one said it would heat but uh, my garage is only like 300 square feet. Uh, so it should be more than sufficient but uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes now we're gonna open her up and have a look here let's just see what it has to say about it It says it runs for a full work day on a 20 pound uh, 20 pound tank uh, it shuts off if it's tipped over easy start instant heat efficient heat economical no electricity um, quiet because it's got no blowers, uh, simple to hook up, rugged and durable, one year warranty. Alright, so anyway, let's open her up and have a look here. Let's see what we can see. It has wheels. That's cool. Like that. Nice. All right. What's this for? Packaging is nice and simple. Not too much plastic. <laughs> Warning, keep clear of this area when lighting. That's good advice. <laughs> you don't want to be over top of it when it explodes all the gas basically. Not really explodes, but lights up. And that's pretty crazy. Now the other Mr. Heater one that I had, it was the Big Buddy one. And it... Uh, it ran off the little propane tanks and you can get an adapter hose for it. So I still have the hose for that. And of course this one includes a hose and it looks like it might be like a 20 foot hose, at least a 10 foot. I'll have to measure that. All right, so packaging was really good. Came with manual, no parts. Looks pretty cool, let's put it up here. Now, oh, it has a handle. All right, let's look at the back here. So it has a handle, you put the handle up, you can lock that down, and then you can set it up and use the wheels. So it's almost like a wheelbarrow, you can roll it around. It's not very heavy, but I guess when it's hot, it might make a difference. See, it won't sit without the wheels, so I guess, uh, when you want to store it, the wheels fold away, this folds away, and you can store it. I'm probably going to hang this on my wall when I'm not using it. Uh, probably the easiest thing to do. So I'll have to make a space for it. But that's pretty cool. I like that. So you lift that up, yeah. lock that down, pull out the wheels, and you're good. So on the one side, here, it's your feedback shut off valve, so if it tips over, right? And then on the other side, it has your starter button, your piezoelectric starter button. 
It has the thing there, the starter there. All right, looks really good. Hmm, I was under the impression that it had the ceramic things on it. It doesn't look like it has the ceramics. It's like a wire mesh. All right, I was hoping for the ceramic. It's got a pretty heavy duty grill on the front of it. Um, it's quite thick, which is nice. Uh, these things are prone to rust, so it's good to have a thick one. And it looks like it will be somewhat replaceable if you need to. It's just screwed in. All right, so let's uh, let's plug it in. We'll give a quick once over the manual, and then we'll try it. Out. All right, so I just verified some measurements. The uh, hose is 10 feet long. Um, the unit itself is 18 inches deep. It's you know to the end where the wheels are. Um, it is 12 and a half inches wide. 35 inches high to the top of the handle. It's like a couple inches less here. And then uh, the heating element itself is 4 inches wide and 18 inches high inside. All right. We've got the natural gas fittings here. And this one has a rubber O-ring. All right. So that's fine. And this one does not have a rubber O-ring. And neither does this where it fits onto. So the small ends fit together. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some of this uh, gas fitters tape. And it's like plumbing tape. And you just wrap it around the threads a little bit. And I'm going to leave this hose on all the time. That's going to prevent leaks. Alright, before you do anything, make sure you use a little soap and water concentration. Put it around this valve down here, right where your joint is. Make sure that doesn't leak. If it bubbles, it leaks. No bubbles, no troubles. All right. Turn on your natural gas tank. Open your valve. Okay. Now this here is the safety reset button for the valve. So you're going to have to bleed the air out of this line because it's got air in it. So you have to push that in order for that valve to open. And then after a minute, you're going to start hitting this ignition switch and actually press the switch and watch the little ignition thing, the piezoelectric, to see that there's a spark that jumps from that to the uh, the grill. All right, make sure that that's working. So, got this on and I press this. You can hear it hissing. Ooh, and it lights up right away. So you have to hold this button for I don't know, close to a minute or something. Just wait till it heats up a little bit. Once it starts to glow red a little bit, you should be able to release it. So I'm just about there. nice and toasty. Well, that's going to be fantastic. I can feel the heat from here. All right. So right now it is minus six degrees in the garage. I'm going to uh, close the door basically a little bit, leave a little gap at the bottom. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm holding this by the stand. It's kind of funny. So I'm going to close the garage door and I'm going to leave a little gap at the bottom of the door just so that some air can come in and then we're going to see how long it takes to heat up the garage. All right. It's actually kind of warm sitting here. Move over a touch. So uh, it's another good quality Mr. Heater product. Uh, I must say I do like the brand. I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with all their products really. Um, this one, it's... 35,000 BTU. Um, it's fairly good. Uh, hold on, let me grab my phone. Okay, I've been running this heater for almost an hour. 
and the temperature has gone from minus 5 degrees Celsius, I think it was minus 6, to like plus 11. So you're looking at 17 degrees difference, which is fairly significant. And because this one, uh, the amount of air it consumes, you're supposed to leave your door or a window open a crack. Um, I don't have like a man door or a window that I can open, so I have to use a full size garage door. So I open it as small as I can, um, but it makes a significant impact. Uh, you don't really want to use it in closed uh, in, in a closed area because you don't want to uh, you know basically poison yourself. Um, first thoughts on this: it stinks a little bit because the material has you know just different oils and things on, on the metals to keep them from rusting. Um, that burns off pretty quick and the smell will go away. Um, I do really like it. I'm going to try putting a fan behind it because a lot of the uh, a lot of the heat you can feel the heat radiate uh, quite nicely when you stand in front of it it's really nice but you can feel a lot of heat lost up here. So a lot of that is going up to the top of my garage. So I'm going to try running a fan behind it. Um, best bang for your buck is probably, once again, I can't stand too close, is probably the uh, Forest Air Propane Heater. Um, Mr. Heater has one. Um, they go on sale basically at the same price. This the regular price on this is $220. I got it for $160. Um, the other Mr. Heater, uh, Forest Air Propane Heater, their little one, has 38,000 BTU. And that one, I believe the regular price at Princess Auto is 170. Now these are Canadian prices, so up here in the States, your price will be different. Um, so just bear that in mind. So I'm gonna try running a fan, and I'm going to watch the temperature and see if that makes a difference, and if it makes my garage more comfortable. I have a fairly large fan. I'm probably going to get a smaller fan to go behind it. Um, this is noisier than I, I had hoped. The other one was absolutely whisper quiet. So that's, you know, that's a little unfortunate. But I probably won't go to the Forest Air propane heater because they, uh, they're not as efficient with the gas. They don't burn it as cleanly. So it makes you a little dizzier. So you have to have more airflow. But man, do they heat up your garage quick. So nice. So I've had one of a different brand before, and that's why I don't have it anymore, because it was a different brand, it was lesser quality, and it didn't last. So uh, I think it only lasted me a couple of days <laughs> before it died on me. So anyway, yeah, going to plug a fan in and try that in. All right, so I'm really happy with this product. I've used it every day for a week. Um, like all day as I've been working on different projects over the Christmas break. So uh, it's, it's held up really nicely. Um, what I've had to do was, because it, the only real downfall is that you can't control the heat on this. It's full on or it's off, right? So what I'll do is I'll heat up my garage till it hits like 20 degrees Celsius. And by that time, I, you know, I don't have a coat on, I'm just in a t-shirt and I'll take my coat off and everything and, and uh, shut the door, turn this off, and that'll keep the heat in for a while, and then I'll have to start it up again. So anyway, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching, and have a good time in the shop.